Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have my beauty empties for the second half of 2019. I got quite a large bag. And if you are new here, then hi, I'm Joanna and I do all kinds of makeup and beauty videos. So consider subscribing, it helps me a lot. But without any further ado, let me show you what products I've finished. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with shower products and I also have in this video some products from my fiance because there might be a few guys out there watching but if you're not a guy then you'll probably have some guy in your life and then I can give you some recommendations. So the first product was the L'Oreal LV Dream Long Shampoo and I really liked this one and I feel like this one helps to clean the hair very well, makes it soft and shiny and then it also helps to grow the hair and I really love the smell of this one. Now I will try and leave everything linked in the description box in case you want to get some of the products that I liked and I definitely liked this one, I am still using it but now I've also bought some other new shampoo to use because I've been having a lot of hair loss and this one doesn't really do a lot in that department but I actually really liked it to long hair, I think it is good. Now another product from the same L'Oreal Dream Long line is the Rapid Reviver that is kind of a instant mask or a more concentrated conditioner and again for long hair I think this one is really good it does moisturize the ends of the hair and my hair is very fine so it tangles very easily and this one really helps to detangle it the fact that it is a more concentrated conditioner I also think it helps better than just a normal conditioner like, for example, compared with this one, this is the Total Repair 5 conditioner. This one I liked, but I didn't love. For example, compared to this, I think this one works a lot better. This one just isn't enough for my hair. And I actually think that this line is now also available in this kind of product so maybe I will try that one but these are both for damaged hair and I would recommend this one now I got two shower gels and almost three the shower gel I mentioned on my November favorites is almost almost finished because I'm filming this one in the beginning of December so that's almost finished but I got two the first one is this one from my label, that is a brand from a Portuguese supermarket. And this one does smell nice and it was very cheap, but I didn't think it was very hydrating for the skin, so I'm not going to buy this one again. One that I would definitely buy again is the Nivea Cream Soft Shower Cream and all of the Nivea shower gels are very good, very hydrating and makes your skin very soft and they also smell very good. So if you are new to my channel, I really love Nivea products and this one is no exception. There will be some more Nivea products in here. Then I also have in here the H&S Dandruff Shampoo and this particular one is with lavender extract for nutrition and care and this one was used by my fiance he really liked it and I also liked it because this smells very good but he does have oily hair and this one didn't really help him with that but if you don't have oily hair this one is really nice and this one is not specifically a man product and then he also finished the L'Oreal Men Expert Barber Club Shampoo and this is a shampoo for beard and hair and this makes the hair and beard really soft 
and he really liked it. I also really like the smell of this. Yeah, this does smell very, very good, but the product itself, this is a 200 milliliter bottle. It's very expensive for the size of product. And he's currently using the beard oil from this line and that one is good. So he said he would like to repurchase again, but it's a little bit expensive. So he wants to try other things. Now I'm going to continue with hair products and I finished two cans of the Batiste dry shampoo. I finished one of the Cherry. This is my absolute favorite dry shampoo and my favorite smell from Batiste. And then I also finished the Wild Flower. I also really liked it. I like the feeling that it leaves on the hair and I also really liked the smell but I still love this one the most. I'm currently using another one of these and I've also repurchased another. So these are my recommendations in terms of dry shampoo. I really like them. And then I also finished some vitamins for the hair. I finished the Prozis Beauty Care Formula Glam. And this one is only for seven days. And I don't actually have a strong opinion on this one. I think I didn't take it long enough to see any difference with this. The ones I've tested and I've done a review on them were these Prozis Hair, Skin and Nails Vitamins. And I took these for two months and they did help with the strength of my nails but in terms of hair and skin these kind of didn't do enough for me i don't want to say that they don't work but they didn't work for me at least so i'm not going to buy them again now i have some hygiene products and then i have tons of skincare that we finished we finished this nivea stress protect deodorant and we finished two of the Protect and Care deodorant. So these are the other Nivea products that I mentioned. They're really good, they're very hydrating, they smell really well and work very good. So we'll definitely repurchase some of these. And before I go into skincare, I also have two makeup products that I finished. I finished this Primark liquid eyeliner that as you can see is only 1 euro 50 and this one is a very good matte black liquid eyeliner i really liked it and i finished it so if you want a very affordable liquid eyeliner definitely give this one a try and i also finished the primark lash out long lasting mascara this one i liked the fact that the applicator was a kind of silicone or plastic but other than that, I kind of didn't love it, didn't hate it, probably won't repurchase. Okay, so now I have all of the skincare products. I finished three packs of makeup wipes. I finished these from Garnier. These are the Simply Essentials and they came like this in a pack of two. And they said they remove waterproof makeup, but for the price, I did expect them to be a little bit better. So I'm probably not going to repurchase these. And then I also finished the micellar makeup wipes from my label. And these ones are again from the Portugal supermarket brand, but these are really great. And for only 99 cents, I think, and as I say, they are micellar cleansing wipes, so that's probably why they are a little bit better. And I also like that they have this kind of closing mechanism. They did change the packaging. Now it looks like this, and I will definitely repurchase these for the price. They are really, really good. And speaking of micellar, I finished the Garnier Skin Active Oil Infused Micellar Water and I absolutely loved this one. 
it's the one with kind of the orangey yellow oil on top that you have to mix and I am currently using the blue one for sensitive skin and sensitive eyes but I think I like this one a little bit better so I'm definitely going to repurchase this one again I also finished the Body Shop Aloe Calming Toner and I also liked this one this one is for sensitive skin and I think it works really well but at the moment I don't actually have a body shop shop next to me so I didn't repurchase this one but I could probably repurchase it but I want to try some things different I finished this Avon mattifying night cream this one is from the Nutri Effects line with active seed complex and this one is for combination to oily skin and in terms of a moisturizer for combination skin I think it is nice but as a night cream I do feel like I need more moisture and nutrition for the skin so I don't think this one did enough and this one is pretty affordable but I don't think I will repurchase it again then I also finished a day cream that was this one from Kiko this is the Free Soul Blurring and Moisturizing Face Cream and as a blurring moisturizer I think this one is also very good for combination to oily skin and this one is also really good as a makeup primer I would repurchase this one but this one was from kind of a limited edition collection but I really really liked it I wish Kiko would do something like this for their regular skincare or maybe even do it again as a limited edition my fiance also finished some skincare he finished this hydro vegetal moisturizer from Yves Rocher and this one is a 24 hour intense hydration rich cream for normal to dry skin and this one is very very hydrating indeed I also used it for a while but I didn't really like the fact that this one doesn't absorb very fast this is really nice for the winter because the skin gets a little bit more dry but overall he liked it as a moisturizer but he didn't love it what he did really like was the L'Oreal Men Expert Anti-Wrinkle Cream and this one is for kind of first lines and expression lines and he really liked it he said it does absorb very fast and leaves the skin very smooth so he liked this one then I also finished the tea tree oil from the body shop and this one is kind of a spot treatment for blemishes I feel like this one helps it doesn't help a lot just does a little bit but the one that I'm using currently does help better than this one so I'm probably not going to repurchase this one again but I would be curious to try other things from the tea tree line from the body shop this does smell very good though I also finished the Primark Lovely and Bubbly Foaming Facial Wash and this one I really liked but is nothing too exceptional if you are looking for a nice and affordable skincare to wash your face this one will do the job very well but I feel like I need something more for my skin this one is with vitamin E and organic rose for all skin types and sensitive skin I do sometimes have my skin to be a little bit more sensitive and this one was good so there's that but I don't think I will repurchase this one I did like it but probably not enough to repurchase then I also did some face masks I used this smoothing clay mask from Primark 
I didn't feel like it did much, so I'm not going to repurchase this one. I finished the sample of the Garnier Pure Reactive Wash, Scrub and Mask. So this one was a sample size, but I did like it and I would very gladly try the full size of this one. I used the B Beauty Care Active Charcoal Purifying Mask and I have done a video on this one. Really didn't like it, hurts like hell, so I'm definitely not going to repurchase this one. And I also used a face mask from H&M. I don't have the full packaging of this one, but it's one of these kind of pods thing. And this one is the T3 and I really liked it. This thing was enough for using twice and as I said, I really liked it. It makes your skin very soft and smooth and this one is for oily skin or blemished skin, something like that. This one really works. And then the final finished product was this Vaginal Foot and Leg Cream and this one is with mint and eucalyptus and this one is to refresh and relieve tired legs and feet and this one works wonders. It's a kind of more fluid cream but this one leaves a very fresh feeling. So this one is a nice and affordable option. I'm currently using when I feel my legs a little bit more tired something for varicose veins but this one is also really nice and especially for summer this is very refreshing okay so these were all of the products that we finished for the second half of 2019 and i think this was probably a video a little bit too long and the next time i do this i might split them in seasons like winter spring and maybe even join it with my favorite video. I will talk a little bit more about that in the beginning of January. But yeah, that is everything for this video. Again, I will leave everything that I can linked in the description box in case you are interested in any of these products. And if you like this video, then don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know some of your favorite empty products that you repurchase. And if you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday and Thursday. And on my next video, I'm going to have my favorite products of December and also a little haul from Notino. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that. And that is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.